Let's look at one more function now. Now, up to now, we only looked at uh, identifying which ones, uh, which words or which strings match a certain uh, regular expression, or we have tried to find out how many times we get uh, a string matches a regular expression. Now, there are occasions when we want to extract the match itself, right? We want to extract the matching segments. Now, many times when we are doing a literal match, there is no fun in extracting the matching segment. So, for example, suppose I say, uh, tell me all the words that contain the letter E, okay, or the string of letters E, X, right? So, then when you try to match it, all you are going to get back is E, X, E, X, E, X, E, X, because the match is a very literal match. But on the other hand, suppose your match is more complicated, which says uh, it contains uh, a string of five vowels consecutively. Of course, that never happens, but suppose that is the case. Then we would then the actual match could vary from uh, string to string, and we might be interested in finding out what are all the different ways in which this match actually took place. So that is when str underscore extract plays a role. So let's look at an example. Here we are saying str underscore extract John shocks stealth h dot. Okay, that is find out any patterns where h is followed by another character. Any other character we don't care. So for John it's going to be H N, for Shocks it's going to be H O, and for Stealth it's going to be no match, right? Because H is not followed by anything, but we are saying we want to match one character here, right? So it doesn't match here. So the result is going to be uh, H N, H O, and N A for the last one, right? So you got H N, H O, and there's no match in this, so it gives you an N A. Right? So rather than trying to find out whether it matched or not, or rather than trying to find out how many times it matched, this time we are doing a different thing saying, okay, show me the pattern that actually matched. So in this case, we are doing uh, str extract, that's the function, and we want to do an O followed by any other character uh, zero or more times. Right? That means O can be fo followed by nothing, that is also sub supported by this. Because, because the star is zero or more times, or it's followed by, uh, you know, by some, or followed by something. So if it is zero, that means it simply ends with an O, or O is not followed by anything, so it ends with an O, or it's followed by many more, right? So in this case, notice the uh, pattern, because we are saying dot star, that is any number of characters, so it's going to go on till the pattern matches. So obviously, it's going to go on till the end, so we are going to see O H N because it's matching many times, right? That, that is that some character is occurring zero or more times. So it's going to keep on going till it finds a matching character. So it's going to go all the way up to the end. Of course, Fido just ended with an O, so nothing came up. Otherwise, O C K S, it went on searching till the end of the string, right? Because we had said dot star. Okay. So here we're saying find out a pattern where O is followed by a character one or more times plus means one or more times right whereas star is zero or more times so it will match even if there is no character following o whereas here you need to have at least one character following o so the result is simply going to be o h n o c k s but fido is not going to match because you need at least one character after the o this doesn't have it okay so that's the difference so that's also illustrates the difference between plus and star star is zero or more, plus is one or more. Now let's take a somewhat more involved example. Uh, in our string R uh, package, there is a data frame called sentences. We used it before. Now what we want to do is, we want to find all the sentences that have any color words in them, like red, blue, yellow, green, orange, any color words in them. And then we also want to extract which are the colors that actually appeared. Okay, so we want to find use obviously to do this, we want to use str subset, that is the subset of the sentences in which some color word occurs. And then we want to extract all the colors. Okay, so we are seeing a combination of use of str subset and str extract. Okay, so sentences, as I have already pointed out, is the vector which contains a whole bunch of sentences for us to practice on. There are 720 sentences and here are the first 
you can look at the first 10 sentences by doing head sentences that's fine okay so now what we want to do is within sentences we want to find the sentences that contain color words so let's say these are the colors we are interested in obviously our list of colors could be a lot more complete so we're saying colors is c red orange yellow green blue purple so these are the colors we are interested in right so we want to find those sentences that contain at least one of these colors at least one of these colors and we then want to extract out the colors that were matched so it is possible that our sentences don't even contain some of these colors right so we want to find out of these colors which colors actually occur in the sentences okay so of course in order to do that we want to construct the first the regular expression with which we can match the colors right see after all uh, you can say i want the sentence which matches either red or orange or yellow or green or blue or purple so to do that we could just put a regular expression that says quote double quote red vertical bar orange vertical bar yellow vertical bar green yellow vertical bar blue uh, uh, vertical bar purple right so you could separate all these with uh, with bars with vertical bar and then you will have a regular expression that says this or this or this or this or this remember we use the bar to use the or option right so you could write a regular expression just by hand to do that but what we are going to do obviously is to use the collapse uh, option of str underscore c remember we studied this uh, early on so you can say color reg x or color regular expression is str underscore c colors which is this oh sorry it should be c o l o uh, r s i used o, uh, r s here and u r s here in any case let's assume we did the right thing here uh, is colors then collapse equals the vertical bar okay so if you did that then the result is going to be this right so instead of typing in this regular expression we simply used it here okay so let's jump into our studio and see how it looks and what i had done with this colors uh, ors and ours Okay, so color reg, reg x is here. Yeah. Okay, so I used uh, colors here. O U R S. I'm going to just change it to R S. So and uh, let me run it. Colors, color reg x, and we look at color reg x, and it's uh, come out to be this. Okay, so let but actually work correctly i must have earlier created something called colors with the correct values okay so what we did was we first constructed the regular expression okay so now we have a regular expression that uh, we can use to find out which are all the sentences that contain at least one of these color words so that's what we're going to do first so color reg x looks like this again just a repetition and to find the sentences that have color reg x we can always do as color is string subsect sentences color reg x right so what this is going to do is from among the vector sentences it's going to extract only the subset which contains which matches this regular expression right so instead of putting the regular expression within double quotes here we created it and then we are using it as a variable so that's the first time we are doing it doing something like this okay so now has color will be only those sentences that contain at least one of these color words okay and now we want to find out from among these from among has color because each of those has at least one of these colors which of the colors were actually found we can use str underscore extract right because str underscore extract allows us to extract the pattern that was actually matched so we can simply again use the color reg x here str underscore extract has color color reg x right so matches will now contain only the matched pattern so if you do head matches you see that uh, uh, you know the first sentence contained blue perhaps the second sentence contained blue and so on and so on okay now again what we are doing is finding only the first match not all the matches so that's the point i'm trying to emphasize here str extract shows only the first match if you want all the matches you can do str extract underscore all okay so 
so here we are saying, let's just check if there are sentences that have more than one color in them, right? Just to show that uh, str extract only shows the first match, okay? So, sent so more is going to be the set of sentences that have more than one color. So, I'm saying sentences of str count of str of sentences comma color regex is greater than one, right? Remember, str count is going to give us the count. Now, so this is going to filter now only those sentences that have more than one color, right? And then uh, you'll see that if you type more, you'll see that there are actually sentences that contain more than one color. If you run the code, you'll see that. Uh, in fact, let's do that. Okay, so more is this. So now let's take a look at more. Okay, so here, see here there are three sentences which have more than one color. So for example, blue and red here, uh, green, brown, and uh, in fact red, it will match even this red, right, because we are saying red occurs anyway. We are going to fix that problem shortly. Uh, and here you've got orange, red, right. So there are a couple of sentences that have more than one color. But earlier when we saw the actual colors that were matched, uh, let's see the colors that were actually matched. It was on our slide. Right, blue, red, red, blue, right. Whereas here you're seeing orange. It didn't match that uh, because uh, it, it, it only matched the first one for us, right. Hmm. I wonder why it didn't match orange here. Okay, that is because in our regular expression, red came first. Okay, so red matched here and then it stopped. It didn't look beyond that. Okay, so that's why, uh, because red was before orange here. Although orange is before red here, uh, it looked for red, found it, moved on. Okay, so that is why uh, clearly uh, your str subset, str extract, all of them match only uh, the first uh, occurrence, str extract. Okay, so in order to further emphasize what's going on, if you do an str view all, you see all matches. So that's what I'm going to do here, str view all, right? So you can clearly see here, blue, red, green, flickered, red. That's a, that's a problem because this red is actually not a color. So we'll fix that shortly and then orange and red. So here we are seeing all the matches, okay? So str extract more color match, it's again showing us only one match. So in order to see all the matches, we can use str underscore extract underscore all to get all the matches. So for example, suppose we do str extract all more, which is all the sentences that have more than one color mentioned, color regex, right? So then uh, oh, you see here that uh, the, the, it returns a list. So the first sentence has both blue and red, second one has green and red, and the third one has orange and red. Right, so str extract all can get all the matches. So str extract all, we get it back as a list, which is usually somewhat inconvenient, uh, but you can ask it to give the result like a matrix. When you say simplify equals true, right, then the result comes out like a matrix, uh, like a two-dimensional matrix. So for every one, uh, for every row, or for every sentence, the the matches, the individual matches come out as columns of a matrix. Okay, so in the earlier approach, that is uh, in the approach that we used earlier, which is simply matching the color regex, we found that the word flickered got matched because it had RED in it, right? So clearly what we want to do when we are matching the color words is to ensure that the color is in a word all by itself. And for that, there is a word boundary uh, in regular expressions. And backslash b matches word boundaries. And of course, you know that when you use a backslash, you have to use a double backslash. Okay, so we are changing the color regex expression differently, right? So we are changing the, earlier we only had uh, the colors separated by vertical bars. But now what we want to do is, uh, we want to also ensure that the color name has a space before it and a space after it. Okay, so this time we are saying that uh, the color regex is strc, we are combining the strings, first of all 
uh, backslash backslash b the word boundary and then within parentheses we want to have all the color names separated by vertical bars and then again uh, uh, at the end of it we want to have a backslash backslash b as well okay so that's what we want to have so we are combining uh, the strings so that now if you look at the color regex 2 it'll look like this okay it won't look like what it looked like earlier now if you've got a backslash backslash b and a backslash backslash b at the end of it okay so that means we are saying these color names should be surrounded by uh, blanks or white space basically blanks or tabs okay so now when we do string extract all and simplify equals true we see that the red which was earlier in flickered that red doesn't appear anymore okay so that's how you take care of word boundaries and it's very important to to account for word boundaries uh, otherwise you when you are matching for a particular regular expression if it occurs in the middle of a word that will get matched and sometimes that leads to trouble